Overlooking Cleveland as an investment opportunity to expand your portfolio might be a pretty big mistake. Here we have some of the most affordable housing in the country and it makes for some really solid investment properties if you're looking to rent some properties out long term and hang on to them. Now in today's video we're going to be checking out a house over on the east side of Cleveland and it's going to give you about a 10 to 15 minute commute to get to downtown Cleveland itself and down there you're going to have a lot of opportunity as far as shopping restaurants and activities go there's so much to do in the area that bring a lot of people from all over the country so it's not something that you're going to want to sleep on now the home that we're going to be touring today has three bedrooms one bathroom and it comes in just over 1100 square feet so it's a decent size for a small family and you are going to have some basement space and a little bit of a yard and a garage on top of it now this home is right across the street from an elementary school so if you have little ones you are going to be able to just walk them to school you're not going to have to get in the car and take them there and around the corner on 131st, you're going to have a lot of different stores to choose from and a few different restaurants. So that way you're not going to have to travel too far to get your grocery shopping done. Now also in this area, you're going to have a pretty neat metro park that is called Garfield Reservation. And there you can kind of go just relax, have a picnic and just get away from that suburban feeling. Or you could get on one of the trails and just walk around and kind of be with nature and just enjoy a little bit of silence for once. Now this home is rented at $750 a month, which is a little bit low as far as the rental side goes but this tenant is a long-term tenant that has been paying, so it might be worth keeping them in there. Now, if you're looking to buy in the Cleveland area, feel free to reach out to me. All of my contact information is down in the description. My name's Sam Oler, and I'm your Cleveland area realtor. But with all that being said, let's go check out this house. We're gonna be starting this one off a little bit differently, and we're gonna be starting in the first of the three bedrooms in this home, and this house is going to have two floors, and right now we're on the second floor, like I said and here are two of what they consider the two bedrooms that one has a pass through so it's going to be more of a walkthrough and then the bathroom is in the second floor as well and it's in decent shape they don't have any leaks it looks like they caulked the heck out of that bottom area but it's still in working condition and there's a window in there but that's something to keep in mind and then also on the second floor is going to be another bedroom and they are living here right now. They're paying $750 a month, and it's a pretty solid size as far as that goes for a small family, but it is definitely something that you're not going to get a big family into. Now down the stairs, you have access from your dining room, and attached to the dining room, you are going to have your living room along with a kitchen access, but we're going to check out the dining room really quick. And in the dining room, you also have another bonus room down here where they have it set up as a living area right now, but you could use it as another formal sitting area, or maybe you could even set that up as the dining room. You've got a few different opportunities. Now in the kitchen, you are going to have painted cabinets and everything is all the older cabinetry. However, it is in good condition still, and there's no reason to replace it at this point. Now across from all the cabinets, you're going to have your stove and your fridge with a little bit more storage above that. And then you're also going to have access to your basement through this little door that leads you down the stairs and the stairs are pretty steep so you're probably not going to really use the basement besides for extra storage and getting your mechanicals maintenance. Now down here it's all in really good condition it's not damp at all and it looks like you have an updated electrical panel so that way you are not going to have to deal with anything old or malfunctioning it looks like you've got some newer wires running through there as well now your gas meter is in the basement and then you also are going to have your furnace and your hot water tank and your laundry down here your laundry is going to be on the exterior wall while your furnace and your hot water tank are going to be in the middle of the room now the furnace is a little bit older so that is something that you're going to want to have checked out during your inspection and the hot water tank is new so you don't have to worry about that for years to come now as we start to work our way back upstairs we are going to check out the outside of this house and the exterior isn't in terrible condition and it's got a fenced in front yard and the yard is fully fenced so you can have some animals like they do and luckily with this one you have street parking as well and then you are going to have a garage on this house so on the front porch it's in decent condition you've got a little bit of paint to fix up but the exterior is a aluminum siding so you're not going to have to worry about chipping paint or anything. Then on the inside, you have a leak. It looks like coming from the shower upstairs. I forgot to show that while I was in there. Now going into the front yard, 
to take a view of the front of the house, you get a better picture of what you're buying. Now the roof is a little bit older, but it doesn't look like it's in bad condition by any means. So that is a bonus as well. You've got a little bit of time before that needs replaced. Now on the side of the house, you are going to have the aluminum siding continued. And like I was getting into before, the aluminum siding is nice that it's not the wood siding because you can see on the garage that it's chipping real bad. And with the lead laws that we have here, you have to abide by those if you're going to have the house as a rental. And that is a two year inspection that just has to get done every two years. And if you don't do it, you can definitely run into some legal problems, which you never want to do if you are a landlord. Now, if you want to find out more about that, feel free to reach out to me. If you made it this far in the video, I want to say thank you. It shows that you might be looking to move to the Cleveland area or pick up some properties that are going to be investments. And if you are, I invite you to reach out to me. All of my contact information is down in the description. But if it makes it a little bit easier for you, you can feel free to call or text me here. If you find yourself down in the description checking out my social media, make sure you leave a like before you go because that's going to help me out a ton. But with all that being said, I'm going to leave the video there. I'll catch you in the next one.